of hype piece regarding Tyler the Creator's La Fleur um, globe trotting suitcases and shit. Um, I don't know about these. I think obviously most of my knowledge on trunks and suitcases um, has come from Louis Vuitton. That's the only time I used to see them because I remember back in the day, Pharrell and Nigo would collect those things um, and they obviously go for loads of money and they're very chic and shit. But I don't know, there's, I've never in my head thought, oh, I want to take a briefcase on a holiday, on holiday with me to use as carry-on. I guess maybe because I'm so used to having like free form bags that you can kind of stuff loads of shit into. And for some reason, I feel like with a sort of trunk um, style of luggage, you won't be able to fit as much in it as you would with a traditional roller. Or maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not too sure. They do look really cool, though. Tyler does a really good job of making a really nice trunk that you can go on holiday with. Um, in terms of the design, I love the diff different um, leather uh, patches here. Obviously, I guess to help in terms of it get transported around. It's, been, it's got wheels on it as well. So I love the mix of the, you know, updating it with the wheels and the handle, but then having it look like a vintage trunk. And the good thing about these trunks, I'm imagining, the more you use it day in, day out, the more it gets kind of thrown around, you know, by staff at the fucking airport and shit, the more it's going to look better. And you actually add some stickers on it and shit, or they stick stickers on it when you're going through the airport. Like, it looks fairly cool, but again, I don't know, day-to-day -day use, it'll be a bit of a change for me to start wearing trunks or to start carrying them day-to-day. Because I do, I do want to get to a point in life where I'm able to go on holiday and actually pack for the weekend and have it all in a backpack. Because I admire those people so much who turn up to airports, they're waiting with you um, to board the plane and they just have a tote bag or like a really big duffel or something. You're like, fucking hell. I'm ca I mean, I just, I just checked in some luggage. I've got a backup backpack on me. I've got another carry. Like, I've got all this stuff. And you see these guys that just rock up like carefree, eating a sandwich, listening to something on the way, like just carefree with a little tote bag like fucking hell how do you do that <laughs> that's like that's like magic <laughs> to do that shit i swear to god yeah jackie natashki knows i'm checking in luggage is the worst especially me i like to like take outfits especially when i go out like i have like that's, i'm the worst because i'll take luggage with me i'll take out i have outfits in mind that i'm gonna wear and then i'll then when i get there i just wear the same shit so all that brain power used and stress to figure out what to wear day to day and end up wearing the same shit that I wear all the time. It's fucking annoying. I absolutely hate myself sometimes, but these look really cool. I like the look of these actually. Let's read the article. Um, it says, Mark and the Duo, second collaboration, title creator and Globetrotter add a vibrancy to the latter's four wheel trunks. The items are available in small and large sizes featuring luxurious handmade leather exterior with deep boss straps in orange and blue. Pink, brown and green corner covers protect your bag from external circumstances while golden hardware accents every detail including padded side locks and top harnesses. Inside you'll find Le Fleur signature pixelated leopard print in alongside foiled branding and flexibly Clo flexible clothing straps. Tyler Creators La Fleur's Global Trail Collection, which will launch June first, in store and online. Both brands for one thousand six hundred ninety-five. Oof, not cheap in it. So small is one thousand six hundred, and large is two thousand two hundred ninety-five, which is probably about the same price you're going to pay for a Remoa. So I guess you just have to decide: Are you a Remoa person? Are you like a hard shell, aluminium type person, or are you a leather trunk style of person? You have to decide one or the other. You, I guess you're not going to be both, I'd imagine, unless you're spending fucking five grand on two pieces of luggage. That's pretty wild. But yeah, the prices, you know, are what they are. But I think in general, you're going to get a good little use out of them. They're going to look a bit unique. And the good thing about them also, you're going to know instantly when someone steals your luggage because there's not going to be a lot of people out there that are going to be carrying leather trunks with them on holiday, especially not nowadays. So you do have that kind of protection. And like I said, I think with it being leather, over time they're going to wear it. it's going to wear in so well it's going to look a flipping amazing over time the more you flipping wear it and stuff so i'm not mad at that in the slightest i can't lie i'm not mad at that in the slightest 